welcome back to my channel Sandy Beauty here and I'm back with another review if you guys are new to my channel my name is Sandy Beauty and if you're returning hey guys I'm gonna be reviewing the new Anastasia Beverly Hills luminous foundation for you guys I'm pretty excited because I've never tried any foundation from Anastasia Beverly Hills before this will be my first one and it's luminous if you guys saw my last review on the Fenty hydrating foundation you know how I felt about that one if you don't then go check it out so I'm holding this one to a certain standard. I'm not going to tell you what the standard is, but I'm going to see how this one works out on my skin. If it's comparable, if it's the same, if it's a bust, if it's a must, I will let you know. Um, I did kind of swatch it in store and I felt like the shade 490W suited me the best. So I'm just going to try that on for you guys. I'm actually pretty excited to see how this goes on my skin, guys. Seriously. Um, but yeah, this is my favorite type of reviews to do foundations. I love trying out a new foundation because I typically stick to my one type of foundation so if this one is a must I will include this in my regular routine. Before I start this video if you guys are not subscribed to my channel go ahead and click subscribe turn on your post notification button so you know whenever I post a new video. So to prime my face I'm going to be using my Benefits Professional Primer and you guys know I love this primer so I'm just going to go in with some of that on my face. So what I like about this foundation and a lot of foundations nowadays, it has a pump on it which makes this so easy and convenient. So I'm just going to go ahead and pump that directly onto my face. Also before I start guys, if you're wondering about my eyeshadow, I do have a review on this eyeshadow palette. This is the Jackie Ina and Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Um, I do have a review on this. It is going to be the video before this one. That was just a little information I want to let you guys know. Just in case anybody's like, oh what eyeshadow palette are you wearing? That is what I have on and I have a video on it. So now I'm just going to go ahead and go in with the foundation. So this foundation is supposed to be a medium coverage, luminous, natural finish foundation. I usually wear a foundation that's more of a satin finish. I'm not really a matte foundation type of girl. I'm more like a satin finish. So I'm hoping that this one will give me that type of effect. So I'm going to try this out and see how true that is, guys. So the foundation has no scent at all to it, which is great. Okay, so so far I think it's looking a little too warm I don't know okay so obviously it's looking really warm compared to the rest of my face but it is kind of matching my neck a little bit more I don't know from here it looks like it matches my neck I don't know what you guys are saying right now but it looks like it's matching my neck I don't know now it did give a good amount of coverage as for being medium I think it's a little bit more than medium um, because I don't think I'm even gonna go back in with any more foundation that I already have on um, but yeah it is giving me a warmer finish It just honestly feels like one of my full coverage foundations on me right now. <laughs> so guys, I'm actually pretty impressed with how much coverage I got from the amount that I put on. The only thing is, I think I should have went one shade, either one shade lighter or one shade cooler. So I was actually debating between this one, which is the 490W, and the 500C. The 500C was more golden. This one, obviously, is a W, so it's warmer. But I just didn't want to look too gray or too olive. This is way more luminous than the Fenty foundation, I find. Um, I use the same primer and everything and I find that I'm looking much shinier but again I'm gonna set my face with powder and all that other stuff that I usually use so we will see um, so far so good I'm gonna see about creasing you know my main thing is creasing I'm gonna see if I crease but to be honest I, it looks like it can work with this foundation so now I'm just gonna go in with my concealer this is the MAC 24 hour wear concealer and this is in the shade NC 45 So next I'm just going to set my face with my Fenty Pro Filter Setting Powder and the brush I'm using to apply this powder is the 116 from MAC. It's a really small like powder brush and you guys seem to love it. Next I'm going to go in and set my face with my Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark. Uh, for my blush I'm going in with Loudspeaker from MAC. This is like a nice orangey, corally kind of shade. So 
So to highlight, I'm going in with my Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. This is in the shade Molten Gold. I haven't used this in so long, so I'm going to use it today. So before I do my lipstick, I'm going to set my face. Usually I use the MAC Fix Plus, but the other day I went to an event and I got this little Kula makeup setting spray in my goodie bag. So I'm going to give that a try today. It says that it's 70% organic. Um, it has SPF 30 in it. It's water resistant. It has hyaluronic acid and let's see, a bunch of other things. So I'm going to give that a try. To line my lips, I'm going in with the Shayla X Colourpop BFF4 Lip Liner. For my lipstick, I'm going in with Sable from NYX. And then I'm going to put some clear lip gloss on top. Okay guys, so my makeup is finished and complete. For the price, I think the price is decent. I like the bottle. I like the aesthetics of the bottle. I love this here. Okay, so the good thing about this foundation, it does give a good amount of coverage. Yes, it was luminous until I set it with a powder, but I don't know who's using foundation and not setting it with a powder. Hold on, am I seeing creasing? I'm noticing a little bit of creasing in my smile lines. Yeah. Well, then that changes the whole review. That's a, that's a big no for me. I don't do creasing in my smile lines. I don't do it. So for that reason, it's a no for me personally. It's supposed to be luminous. I don't think it's a hydrating foundation though. I would not give it that type of title. And I know it doesn't say that, but I'm just, just in case people with dry skin think that because it says luminous, it will be hydrating. I don't think it's hydrating. It doesn't feel hydrating at all. Guys, hopefully this video helped you to gauge kind of what shade you would go with. Like I said, I'm 490W. Um, I blended it out down to my neck, so hopefully it blended and it looks well. Right now to me, it looks pretty okay. So what do you guys think? If you guys are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!